I think back, Claudia, to March 2017, when I think I was over here, February, March, I think that was a turning point for us here because we started to have real clarity about what was necessary to make sure the implementation here was really sound in terms of the support structure, whose role it was to build capacity in schools, how we could use all of the people in Sebal to start to influence deep learning across Uruguay. So I look back to that as a, a really pivotal moment for this work when we sat down and we, I think we had a light bulb moment. And what you've done since then is not only build capacity out in schools and out in the field, but in this organisation, build capacity of people to understand what this work is and then help others in the field to understand. And today, as we worked with a variety of mentor teams, they all came together and could use the shared language and could find ways to apply this thinking to the people that they worked with, regardless of where they were from. And I think that's a good illustration of the powerful thinking and modelling that you've done, the questions that you've asked to say, what, what do people need? How do we provide that? And then what do we need to be able to support them further? So your 116 days of capacity building across a year is quite incredible that you can support that. There is uh, no other rollout in our network that is that significant and centrally coordinated. So that is unique and, and really powerful. The fact that you bring other organisational arms in together and welcome them and give them and share with them tools and strategies and processes like today to enable them to have the common language, again, that unites us, that brings us together so there's some really powerful aspects, I think, of, of the work that you are leading with Sebao to support deep learning here in Uruguay and going to, to 600 schools next year again puts you um, certainly in terms of numbers at the most prolific rollout of, of deep learning across our network. I think one of the challenges that I've heard over the last three days I've heard and seen some great stories of leadership from the middle, teachers and mentors being empowered to push back, to push up in the system and say, this is what we really need. But I think one of the challenges is that higher level systemic support, the, the ways of thinking and working that would enable deep learning to grow and flourish even more.